Well, we did oppose Jeremy Corbyn on this. We did challenge, but, you know, in light of the report, we have to accept we didn't succeed in that. Um, otherwise, those findings wouldn't be there. And that's why, yesterday, I accepted the findings in full, accepted the responsibility that goes with that, um, and it's among the reasons that I have got such a deep commitment to tackling anti-Semitism in our party. It's the first thing I said, having been elected leader of the Labour Party, Jewish communities, Jewish community leaders said to me, we'll judge you by your actions, Keir, not by what your words. I have changed things in the last six months. I've taken difficult decisions that people thought I wouldn't take. But leadership is about difficult decisions, and I'm absolutely committed to making good on that commitment. I don't want the Labour Party and anti-Semitism in the same sentence ever again. There is no need for a civil war here. I certainly don't want a civil war. The outcome yesterday was not the outcome I was looking for. I wanted to draw a line in the sand and move forward as a united party, um, tackling anti-Semitism. So what happened yesterday wasn't what I wanted to happen. Um, this does not need to ignite a civil war. I don't want a civil war. I think the vast majority of our members and supporters were shocked by the findings yesterday and are completely behind me in my determination um, to root out anti-Semitism.